hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add bazooka to our player first of all let's go ahead and create a animator controller for it so we will duplicate this shotgun animator controller and then i will simply rename this to bazooka animator and once you do that then click on guns prefabs rocket and in here you will find this rocket model as you can see we will be using this one so now let's open up this player and then in the player right hand we have this rifle holder so i will simply drag and drop that in the rifle holder and guys if the uz handgun shotgun is activated make sure that you deactivate them okay just leave the bazooka or you can say rocket activated now let's rename this to bazooka as well then before making the position of this bazooka accurate we need the animations for that go ahead and download this winner file extract here and you will find this animations in here then in the player folder then the player character animations let's drag and drop this and after adding the animations let's open this up and as you can see there are many animations select all of them then click on rig and change the animation type of these animation to humanoid click apply and once that is done let's click on resources then bazooka animator right here what we will do is we will add the animation so here it is let me check the animation okay here it is this is the idle aim let's drag and drop this idle aim bazooka right here and make sure that you set this the default layer then click on player and right here in the controller let's add the bazooka animator controller that is it now if we play the game it will play the idle aim animation as you can see right here change into scene view and now let's set this bazooka i recording to the player hand okay so if we see it right here now as you can see the bazooka looks good in the player hands as you can see we have the bazooka ready up now before closing the game what we will do is to first of all copy the component values okay this transform values and after copying this make sure that you copy it twice then close the game or you can say stop the game click on bazooka and then paste the component values and now let's save the game again and play the game now you will notice that the bazooka will be set accurately as you can see okay so now we have the bazooka right here in the next video we will type the script for this bazooka and make this bazooka workable so see you guys in the next one